Two of the best wireless microphones that you can get in the market today are from Rode and from DJI. The thing is, I'm switching from Rode to DJI, and here's why. When I bought my first pair of wireless microphones, I was looking for the most convenient, portable, yet pro setup that I could use for a wedding that I was shooting at the time. At the time, I got the Rode Wireless Go 2, the latest microphone and the best microphone that I thought was on the market. I got it with the two transmitters and the lavalier microphones alongside with it. It did great for what it was, but then shortly after this purchase, DJI released their own wireless microphones, and then I started to feel a little disappointed. And since DJI just released their DJI Mic 2, I think it's time for an upgrade, and here are five reasons why I'm getting into it. If DJI had also released their microphones at the same time, I would have definitely gone DJI, but I was locked in already. And since DJI released their Mic 2s, I think I can finally justify the switch. For the first reason being that it's got a charging case. You're paying a premium price for a premium product, and you'd like to get the top-notch features and conveniences, such as this. Instead of having to have all these little extra cables to plug into each and every transmitter, as well as your receiver, why not just have a single charging case and one single charging cable to just plug in and charge everything? Now, Rode eventually did release their own charging case, but only after releasing their new wireless pros, which was just a few months ago. But microphone purchases are more than just the charging cases, right? Another reason for me to invest in the DJI Mic 2 is the 32-bit float. This is going to give me flexibility when editing and post in case things are recorded too loud or too quiet and still have the ability to literally revive the audio. As soon as you turn this feature on, you have the confidence to literally set and forget about your device, not worrying about whether or not the audio from this guy or from the soundboard that you may be connecting to or from your talent is going to be too loud and just unusable. I have a friend who purchased the Zoom F3, which has 32-bit float, but the thing is, it's not a microphone that you could just lab up to somebody or clip to somebody. It's a recorder. The DJI Mic 2 is both a microphone and a recorder in one. Yes, DJI also offers a safety track, which has one transmitter to be six decibels lower than the other one. But by having 32-bit float, your workflow is going to be a lot better and have a lot more room when editing and post, especially if you are recording under the 11 hours that each transmitter can save. But even without this pro feature, the DJI Mic 2 gives you more usability. Since the DJI Mic 2 has Bluetooth, not only does it pair well with the receiver, but it also pairs well with Bluetooth devices, like your smartphone. Now that's what I call getting two scoops for one cone. But even if you don't want to pair it with your phone, you could also use it with DJI's new Osmo Pocket 3. Once you pair a transmitter with the Pocket 3, all you have to do moving forward is just go ahead and turn this thing on and then hit record and you're good to go. Or at least not hit record and just let it record directly just by hitting record on the device. If you look at the light right now, it's showing green, which means it's connected to the DJI Mic 2 receiver. But once you press and hold the record button for two or three seconds, it's gonna eventually turn blue, which means now it's in Bluetooth mode and now it is connected to your Pocket 3 or your phone, if whatever is turned on and connected to your transmitter. But as much as I like the combination of touchscreen and physical buttons, the DJI Mic also has automatic features like auto on and auto off. Let's say we are recording directly into the camera, in this case the Sony FX30, with this DJI Mic receiver. With the auto on and auto off feature, if this receiver senses that the camera is off and not sending any signals to this, via the three and a half millimeter jack or cable, then the receiver will just shut off at the same time. How do you like them features? But of all the features, the one reason why I'm really happy about switching over to the DJI Mic 2 is because of the magnets. Yes, we have the clips that attach the lanyards, collars, and even backpack straps. However, one of the best places to stick these wireless mics is by the sternum, or at least the center of the chest where the mic is pointing up. Rode sells this as well, but it's separate. So I'm switching overall because everything for me is just better. My workflow is going to be able to be seamless when it comes to connecting this with my computer, my main camera, my Osmo Pocket 3, and even my phone with the adapters that it includes. For most content creators and professionals, this is the one. 
especially if you're like me and don't wanna spend $50 more on the Rode Wireless Pros. So when you're ready, here's five things that you should do with your DJI Mic 2 when you first get it. 